Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 yo. This is Games and Graphics. We are back in the building. With another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you, and today we are going to be installing LaFix Speedometer, alright? This one will give you a nice speedometer at the bottom of your screen, okay? This one right here is created by LaFix and IKT, shout out to both of the creators. When you get down to this page, what you want to do is scroll down and read the full description. After you're done reading the full description, you want to come up here to the current and select the green arrow to download. Now, as of uh, requirements, you are only going to need Scripthook V, okay? We will not be installing Scripthook V today. I will leave a link down in the description to a video showing you how to install Scripthook V if you don't have it already, all right? So make sure you have your requirements installed. And once you have your requirements installed and you have your LaFix speedometer downloaded, on my left hand side I have a folder with just one download. That one download is LaFix Speedo V137. On my right hand side I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up. I have all of my requirements installed which is Scripthook V for this tutorial. Now what we want to do is go back over here to our downloads where we had LaFix Speedo. Let's go ahead and open up that folder. Inside that folder is going to be a lafixspeedo.asi file and it's going to be a lafixspeedo folder we are going to highlight both okay make sure that you highlight both and select both and we are going to drag and drop both of those into our grand theft auto 5 directory all right I already have it as you can see now that we have that installed let's go ahead and run the game all right once you have spawned inside of the game what you want to do is uh of course find yourself a car i'm about to just sit I'm gonna here go ahead and jump in like this car over here knuckles, my baby. <laughs> Bitch. let me uh put up my joint Yo, we still need to see that movie. there we go and we're gonna hop in this car Now once you uh, get inside your car, you are going to see that you have your speedometer right here at the bottom right side of the screen. It's going to show your RPM, your MPH, as well as your fuel gauge, okay? Now you won't be able to add in fuel. With this script, you will have to go ahead and install a fuel script in order to add fuel, alright? I will leave a link down in the description to a video that I have made. Um, earlier on how to install a field mod into single player okay so make sure you check that out you can use that field mod along with the speedometer mod all right so that's going to do it for us oh yeah one more thing if uh, you wanted to adjust anything with your speedometer then you would press F10 that's function key F10 make sure that you don't have any other scripts or mods that um, enable when you press F10 because I also have uh, skin control installed. That's why you see the pick skin and save and load at the top. But you won't see that when you have the speedometer. It's only going to be that blue menu on the left side of the screen that's going to pop up. And as you can see inside that menu, you have different options that you can use in order to change or enhance your speedometer. Okay? So go ahead and check that out and um, go ahead and edit it to your liking. When you're done with that, you can just back out the menu. All right? So we're going to go ahead and end it right here. If this helped y'all out to install a speedometer or y'all just enjoyed the video, then go ahead and smash that like button for your boy. And uh, definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share the video with y'all friends that are in a modding GTA 5, y'all. This is Games and Graphics, me and Red. We are out of here until next time. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.